Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to be presenting to you my research work focusing on the effect of two kinds of protein on the electrochemical performances of uh, sodium vanadium phosphates. Let's start by the context of my study. You can't imagine that more than 7 million people die from air pollution every year according to the World Health Organization. To solve this problem, we synthesized the NVP material using solid method and we performed two kinds of coating. The first one using saccharose as carbon source and for the second one we coat the material using aluminum oxide. The three materials are obtained that will be studied. The NVP bar, the NVP coated with carbon and the NVP coated with aluminum oxide. Let's uh, move now to the structure characterization. Analysis by X-ray diffraction show that we have well crystallized samples with rhomboidal symmetry and space group R3C with the following cell parameters. And from the XRD result, we confirm that the coaching process doesn't affect the structure of NVP materials as clearly showed by the Richfield refinement. Concerning the Raman spectroscopy, we observed uh, for the three samples the presence of bands characteristic of phosphate. We note also the presence of uh, D and G bands characteristic of carbon. Now let's discuss the electrochemical characterizations. The cyclic photometry curves of the NVP materials show excellent reversibility of the intercalation, the intercalation process with mainly two pairs of redox peaks located at 3 volt and 3.6 volt, which can be attributed to the oxidation reduction of vanadium. Concerning the charge discharge profile, the three materials exhibit excellent reversibility to flat plateau at about 3.4 volt and the high discharge capacity. However, the coated materials present best performances compared to uncoated material and we observe the efficiency of the aluminum oxide as its coated material with the increase of the discharge capacity and low hysteresis which indicates the increase of the energy density. The long term cycling show high structure stability of the three materials after 5G cycles with excellent Coulombic efficiency, it's about 80%. And the comparison of the three samples confirmed that the samples coated with aluminum oxide present best electrochemical performances. According to the base capability test, the three materials display a good high rate performance as well, and the coated materials show better rate performances than no coated material. Furthermore, the materials coated with aluminum oxide exhibit excellent rate performances compared to NVP bar and NVP coated with carbon. And for example, if we compare the discharge capacity at C by 4, the NVP bar and NVP coated uh, with carbon deliver a capacity of about 80 mAh per gram. However, the NVP coated with aluminum oxide is able to deliver about 90 mAh per gram. To understand why NVP coated with aluminum oxide exhibit the best electrochemical performances, we performed cyclic voltammetry at mercury rate in order to calculate the diffusion coefficient of sodium ion. We observed that the coating process uh, increased the coefficient diffusion uh, which accelerates the diffusion of sodium during the intercalation and the deintercalation process and the NVP coated with aluminum oxide shows the higher diffusion coefficient which can be explained by the increase of the electron conductivity. The coating process doesn't affect the cathode material structure as confirmed by Redfield refinement and also the three materials exhibit high discharge capacity. Uh, however, the materials coated with aluminum oxide exhibit better electrochemical performances which can be uh, justified by the increase of the coefficient 
diffusion uh, as confirmed by the cyclic voltammetry. As a perspective, and in order to understand what happened exactly and to understand deeply the mechanism of the intercalation, the intercalation, we plan to perform XRD operando and Raman operando and also to characterize the cathode materials by TEM in order to verify the quality of the coating, uh, to characterize the cathode materials with XPS to confirm the oxidation degree of vanadium, also to perform DFT calculation and to investigate the ionic electronic conductivity of the three samples at room temperature. And thank you for your attention.